Hello there once again, I'm Peter Vaughan, and here's another chapter of The Name of the Day. The letters we're looking at at the moment now are going to be the letter O. For guys and girls, and I'm going to put over here Oliver, and over here Olive, O-L-I-V-E. Now, Olive and Olive, er, uh, for the male. I put that in to see what we can look at as being the differences with the addition of the letter R in Oliver as opposed to Olive. Let's see what happens here just for this particular point. 6, 3, 9, 4, 5 and 9. 6, 3, 9, 4 and 5. We got up to there and there's the extra one. Now the letter O in itself is the 15th letter of the alphabet, as you can see up top. 15 equals the number 6. But the O is completely without openings and any part of it. It's a bit like the letter Q, which we will eventually put up on the board. But the letter Q has got a stick which goes through the side, inside the O, to the ground out here to make it into a Q. But it still is unbroken, it's not open. So therefore, the O keeps everything to itself on the inside. And as it says, I can, I can manage a lot of things with a great deal of responsibility. Me being the number one, five being the number of many things, and six being the number of responsibility. These are the key words for those numbers. So I will keep a lot of stuff in here in a responsible manner. That's what that represents with both Olive and Oliver. Oops, other way around. Oliver and Olive. Let's see what they add up to. 6 and 3 is 9, plus 9 is 18, and 4 is 22, and 5 is 27, and 9 is 36. Olive then is everything but the 9, so if we take 9 off 36, we will have 40, uh, sorry, 27. Let's check. 6 and 3 is 9, 18, 22, 27. So we've got the same number. There's the reason why we've got an extra letter here, the R, which happens to be the 18th letter of the alphabet. Now, as it's being the 18, it's different than just purely 9. The letter R It's a bit like the letter P, but it has a forward stationary stand. It stops the letter from falling over forward. It's well structured. It's the 18th letter of the alphabet, which sums to the number 9. Number 9 means service, giving. 1 in the 8 says, I will think about all the reasons why I should materially give something before I give it. But it, it's done it on purpose. It does it in a manner that helps it be done properly, not just giving it away. Giving it to somebody else, helping somebody else out for the benefit of that person by doing it the right way, not just for fun. That could be tied up in a way of saying that a person who earns a lot of money and then might give it to needy people who really need it, not just give it away, but making sure it's done the right way, as opposed to a person who's in receipt of money for not doing anything except buying a lotto or a ticket of sorts, and they get winnings. They get a lot of money or, or some energy, a form of energy that's tangible, and they can now do something with it. But there's no earnings, no structure, no nothing that I did for it. I just bought a ticket. It's all wishful. Therefore, this way it says, I'm going to make sure that you spend money wisely. Whereas just being given it with the nine says, here you are, I thought you might need this. And they go out and, and buy rubbish and do silly things with it. Big difference between giving from somebody to another, caring about them, or just giving them money and not caring. Uh, this one, the R is caring. Now, if I'm looking at 36 and 27, not just this 18 business unit, 
Oliver adds up to 36, which says, although I'm responsible with what I'm doing, I like to have fun and I like to be the boss at the same time. I'm very responsible. I like to have fun, but I like to be responsible and take charge at the same time because I like to be the boss. Now, there's a word here that says this is business. Now, business is a word describing a structure or of an organized something or other that carries on producing goods, doing something with goods or services, and making a profit. It's interesting that the word business adds up to the number nine, just as does the word money. And if you want to freeze frame this and check out with the letters up top, and you'll find that money adds up to nine. And so does love and the word care, and the word service, and the word health, and the word tax, all add up to the number nine. So it's a number that has a lot of responsibility, not like the six, but responsibility in doing the right thing. So there's a lot, as I mentioned, as I do mention at the end of this, everything is in your name, everything is in a word. So we've got a person who's probably good at running a business, whereas Olive is also good at running a business, but this is the softer person. Why? Because they just like to give quietly without harsh rules, penalties around it. This one here's got the 36. Six is the, the manager type number. And also they like to make sure that things are done in a way that has got structure, system, organization, and run smoothly, or I'll tell you it's not. This one just does it. Cooperative, careful, gentle thinker, and they help people out. The only thing that Olive should do, or anyone you know, Olive, should stop giving out little bits and pieces to everything, because all you're doing is teaching all the people that you're giving things to that you're a giver and they're a taker. And although it's nice to think that you've done something for somebody else, the other person isn't learning to do it for themselves. So there's a lot of strength and understanding. This particular subject here helps people to help themselves when they know who they are and what their name means. And that's why when we look at these breakdowns of male and female and having something so similar, except for the letter R there, and how it changes the outcome is why it's so important that these what's in a name things really have some meaning behind them. So, thanks for watching. Click that like button. Subscribe, please. It's uh, something that we would like to be doing for you. So hit the subscribe button as well, or subscribe. And as Peter says, everything is in a name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more, even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.